Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free file manager tool you could use. So let's say you're not a fan of the Windows File Explorer, you could use this instead. And of course you could still use File Explorer if needed. And they also have a version for Linux and Mac OS. So if you want to try it in one of those operating systems, you could do so as well. So if you go to their website to the download section, they have 32-bit, 64-bit, and they also have portable packages, which are standalone, which you don't have to install. And then you have your Linux, Mac OS, and even FreeBSD. All right, so I'm using the portable version, so I just had to run the executable. Now I have my double pane here. And so you could navigate to whatever folder you like on each side. So I'm in documents on one, pictures on the other. All right, so I'm going to give you just the quick basic overview and show you some of the features because there's uh, way too much going on here to go over everything. All right, down here we have some options here it's for view. But this will only work for you know text files because it's just a simple text editor. So if I click on this and then view or press F3, then it'll open it up. Uh, but if I did something like a PDF, you can see it's not going to work out for you. And if I come over here, picture, it's just going to open it in a picture viewer. And then you have some options here to kind of act on the file itself, you know, next file and you know, cut and print and so on. All right, then here we have edit, which is the same type of thing. So if we open up the picture in the editor, it's not going to do much. A text file will work fine. Uh, copy, move, directory, if you want to make a new folder, delete. If you want to open up a command prompt right to this location, you can do so with that. And then exit. Then you have a drop down list here. If you want to type in a path. Then you have your tabs up on the top here. So if you right click a tab, you can make a new one, rename it, open a folder in a new tab, close everything. Uh, you could save tabs to a file. You could save current tabs to a favorite. So let's say you wanted documents and pictures to be a favorite. Uh, you could save those and then you could come back and go to tab and then load tabs from favorite tabs. Here's one that I had saved here, my tabs. But if I click on that, it just kind of resets my view because it was set to documents and pictures to begin with. Okay, and then at the top here you have some options, directory hot list, go to the root directory, parent directory, home directory, uh, show current directory in the right on the left, and you have the same thing here, show current directory of the left on the right, so it'll just kind of match the directory. So if I did this, now they're both documents. And you can go up a level here. Then I'll go back to my pictures, for example. You have your drives up here if you have more than one. And this one, VFS, I believe, is virtual file system list, FTP, network connections, and so on. You can go back to the main C drive if you want, the E drive if you have another drive, like so. Same over here. Shows you the free space. All right, then at the top here, we have some options to refresh, open the terminal, options. We'll get to that in a second. You want to change your view, so the brief view, which is kind of like a list view. Then you have like the columns view, which is like a details, and the thumbnail view, like so. Flat view, which you could toggle on and off, like that. Uh, back and forth here, select a group option, unselect a group, invert the selection. You want to zip up your files, uh, network connections, do a search, uh, rename multiple items, synchronize directories, and copy file names with full path. And at the top here, we have a bunch of options here, creating symbolic links, creating directories, shortcuts, multi-rename tool, and you know, a lot of the same options that you have in the uh, toolbar there. Wipe and delete. And we have the mark group here. So let me go over to pictures. And we'll try this. Select a group, do that JPG. Okay, you can see it marks the files that have JPG as the file extension. And you can come back here and unselect a group. Now it's cleared out. Select all the same extension. Copy file names to clipboard, compare directories. Uh, the command section here, search, new search instance, synchronize directories, run the terminal, swap panels, 
uh, network connections, you can add network drives. Here's the options for the tabs. You want to do a new tab. You can come here and say make that our E drive, and then you can toggle back and forth. So whatever side you're on when you go to new tab, that's where it's going to put the tab. Then you can right click on it, close the tab if you don't want it, rename it. So I got tab options here. If you want to lock a tab, set them all to normal, switch to tabs, previous tabs, and some of the other tab options we had here for favorites and so on. Then we have a favorite section here. Save the current tabs to new favorites. And here's my favorite that I made. Uh, other view options that you could get to from the menus here. And then we have the same type of view options which, which you could get to from the toolbar here. If you want to do some advanced sorting, you can come here and do that. And we have the options. So there are a lot of options. I'll just kind of go through these uh, categories here real quick so you can see what's there. Options seem to keep going and going. All right, so that is the uh, options section here. So you could spend a, a lot of time just tweaking the settings in there. And when you right click on a file, you have the typical file explorer options. So those still work. Then if you want to go up a directory, you could come here or you could come here and just click on the path right here and go to the folder you want. And if you want to move a file over here, you can just drag and drop it. Okay, and I can see it's uh, queued up to copy, so if you want to add it to a queue to do it in a certain order, you could do that. So this is in queue number one. We have some options here for copying files when the file exists, what you want to do, a directory, and so on. Verify. And you can just start it right now if you want to do that, if you don't want to add it to a queue. And now we have it over here too. And here's the multi rename tool. So you can see there's quite a bit to that as well. You can do the wipe option here. It's going to wipe the whatever file is highlighted. So kind of like a more advanced delete. Then there's a compare directories option too. So you can see here this one matched. That's why it's still black and the ones are red because they didn't match. You can see these two match there as well. So that's a nice feature to compare a couple directories and see which files are the same and which aren't. And we have the search feature here as well. It's a little more advanced search feature than what File Explorer gives you. Search by mass, exclude files, include directories, advanced options here, plugins, previous searches, and results. Synchronize directories, if you want to run that. So let's say we're going to do Everything from documents that is a Word document to E, we can compare. And then if we like what we see, we just click on Synchronize. So left to right, going to the E drive, make sure you go in the right direction. Now you can see we have our file synchronized over here for the Word documents. All right, so I know I was jumping around a little bit, but just wanted to kind of give you a demonstration of some of the better features of Double Commander. But like I said, there's a lot more to it. So this is something I definitely recommend checking out for yourself. That way it'll be a little easier to uh, go through everything and discover everything it could do. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you can download Double Commander and you can try it out yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.